So what's new in version 1.14? I hear you shouting and screaming at your monitor. Neon and Glow are after being added to version 1.14. So I've got a photograph here of a beautiful model. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some glow on this. Basically, go into your edit panel and under the creative section, you have Neon and Glow. What I'm going to do here now is click on Glow. And once I click on Glow, then you can see there's inner, outer, amount, size, U, and whiteness. There's also sparkles. Yes, sparkles. Wait for it. You can put sparkles around your image, which is kind of cool to a certain extent. But look, I'm, I'm, I'm going to, once, once the full version is out, I'm going to do a proper, proper review on all this. But what I really love about this, and what I really love about this right now is, um, as I say, I've been playing around with this for a while here now. So I'm going to click on outer. So I'm on glow. I'm going to click on outer. I'm going to go to amount, and I'm going to slide this up a lot. And look what that does. Look at the glow it introduces around the back of the model. Now, just to give you an idea, before and afterwards. So that's before and that's afterwards. And you might well be shouting at your computer and saying, oh my God, Kieran, look at this here. That doesn't look great. The transition between the glow and the hair. But it's actually really easy to sort it out. Just go to a refine object. You can go draw and you can adjust the size of your brush. So what I'm gonna do is make that a small bit bigger. You can adjust the softness of the brush and the strength of the brush here. And the strength slider is the real key here. So I'm going to leave it probably, and yeah, we'll see, roughly around there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide this over. And as I do, it's, oh, sorry, I'm on draw. I need to click on erase. First stupid mistake. So <laughs> I'm going to go back and I'm going to do it again. And first, I'm going to get rid of this section up here. So I'm just going to move this back out along here. And I'm going to slide over that a few times. And what it's going to do is, that's getting better. That's, that's nearly perfect already. Just slide over here now again. There we go. Really loving that. That looks really cool. So just to give you an idea. So this is the before and that's the after. Now, obviously, you know, if you can add um, glow on the inside too as well. And you can also, sorry, if you go back to refine object, you can go inner glow. So I can adjust the inner glow too as well if I want. If it's suited this, this particular shot, you can do that. You can adjust the U, in other words, the color tint. So I can actually, actually, that looks kind of cool. If I bring it a small bit more blue. Yeah, and you can adjust the brightness. So you can bring the brightness up and down. And you can also adjust the contrast too as well. Do you know, I kind of like that. So yeah, so again, just showing it before. So this is the before and this is the after. And again, you could play around with this to your heart's content in a couple of weeks when it launches. So that's glow. You have your sliders for your amount, the intensity. I can whack that way up long. Or sorry, if I go to outer there now, and if I whack that way up long, you'll see it starts to spread out. You can adjust the size here too as well. So that's the size of the glow. So I can pull that out long there and bring this back down long amount wise and say, that looks perfect. That's exactly what I want. So for our second shot here now, I'm going to add in the neon effect. And yes, this might not be everyone's cup of tea, but bear with me. Watch what we can do with it. So creative panel, I'm going to go down here to neon and glow. And again, click on that. The first option here is neon, then we've glow and then we've masking. So I'm going to click on neon. When we're on this here now, we can adjust the amount. So once I open this out long, you'll see how intense the neon effect is going to be. So what I like to do is whack it up kind of high enoughish from the starting point. Then you can adjust the thickness as in how thick the neon is going to be. So you can refine that up and down. So you say, look, I want it somewhere like that. Then you can adjust the indent as in how far out it's coming from your model, we'll say in this situation. So I'm going to pull it in somewhere like that. Then the spread. That's how far out the, the light is going from it, or the sort of glow effect from it. I, I like it around there, I know what it's say. And then the atmosphere. And the atmosphere is kind of a, it's a bit like an overflow. So I'm going to leave it there. But what I'm going to do now is bring down the amount. So I can bring down the amount of that, and I can have it somewhere here. Now I can also adjust the U here too as well on the bottom. So you can get specific effects. I kind of, personally, I kind of like that. Probably bring down the amount a small little bit. There you go. And we can adjust the whiteness here too as well. So obviously the more I bring this up, the whiter that neon effect is going to be. So it's going to bring in more color. It's kind of a color saturation control really, I suppose. When I bring it down long and bring it back up long. So I'm going to leave it roughly around there now. So this is our before and this is our afterwards. And it definitely may not be your cup of tea. And <laughs> you might be screaming at your monitor saying, 
why the heck would ever anyone ever do this? But I can see specific uses for it. I could I, YouTube thumbnails. I think are going to be awesome with the likes of this. But it just it it just adds an effect. And again, this is me just messing around with it super quickly. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get another photograph and I'm going to show you on that one. So here we have our next photograph. Again, another kind of cool enough pose. So we're going to go down here to our creative effects panel. We're going to go on neon and glow, and we're going to adjust our amount again and as per usual I'm gonna whack it up kind of high enough so I can see what I'm doing so the thickness again I'm just gonna bring the thickness in somewhere around there and the indent how far out it comes from a model then we can adjust that around now you can go out further which is one way of doing this and then we can adjust the spread and we can adjust the atmosphere and you might say like that looks a bit much you know but if I bring down the amount you might say oh cool that's what I'm looking for I might say, no, that's a bit too much now, Kieran. I want to bring it down here, and I want to bring it down here. And what I want to do is bring it closer into our model. And you might say, yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Again, you could adjust the U here. And you might say, look, I really want this to pop. This is my new YouTube thumbnail. So I want this to really pop out. Bang, there you have it. I think somewhere like that. I just think the color isn't right in it. I'm going to bring it back down here somewhere now. Yep. So again, this is our before and or afterwards and it just it really does pop and so this is our last one here now again and we're in here on the creative panel going on to neon and glow and we're going to go to glow and we're going to adjust glow give it a couple of seconds now for that to kick in yeah there we go so I'll pull that back down along a small bit again and we'll go somewhere like this and bring that a small bit more blue maybe and give it two seconds there we go and we're going to go outside then we're going to whack this up along again and the overall size to here and here and we're going to bring our whiteness down and what we can do is go a bit more kind of red and kind of go all right that's looking kind of funky there now so now the other thing we're going to do here is we're going to adjust our sparkles and Obviously, if I adjust this out long, it's going to have all small little sparkles out long here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the spread in and I am going to adjust the amount. And what it's going to do is it's going to add all these tiny little sparkles here going along the actual clothing and in the hair and whatnot and on the skin. Kind of a cool enough effect. And again, we're going to go back up here now. This is all on the outer section. So I'm going to adjust the outer amount and we say... Yeah, I really like that. So we're going to go for the before. So this is the before. And this is the after. Now, you could go a bit nuts on this too as well. You can go to neon and glow. Now, as per usual, I'm going to whack this up quite a bit. Just from a starting point. We're going to increase the thickness too as well. And then we're going to go down here to the indent. And we're going to pull it back to there. Just maybe on the outskirts. Yeah. Increase the atmosphere a small bit too as well. So it's kind of a fairy tale sort of a look. And the spread and pull this in a small bit. And the colour I'm kind of happy enough with. The whiteness. I want it brighter. No, I don't. I want it more colour fringing like that. Then we go back up finally to our amount. And just pull that back down along. And we say, that's it. So, and we can go for the before. And that's the after. So you can see what you can do with this in just a couple of seconds. It's absolutely fantastic. As you can see, this is a fairly versatile product and it's one of the new features in Luminar Neo coming out in the next two weeks. What do you think of it? Will you ever use it? And do you love it or do you hate it?